Hey guys, Jay here. This is smarthelping.com. Today I got a little um, supply and, well, demand case study of my own. Um, so we're going to talk about the Super Smart Bundle pricing. If you look on the site, it's this. Um, if you go to the homepage and go down here, it's right here. So I've changed the price of this in the past month to $4.99, down from $9.99. And over the past few years, it's been up to 600. It's been at um, 9.99. It's been at 2,500. Back down to 9.99 and not 4.99. And I believe this is probably where I'm going to stay for quite a while. And this offers access to essentially over 200 finished model templates in Excel. So that's the product. So look at the data I've got on this now. So if we go over back over to our spreadsheet, so. Two years ago, I did about five sales at $9.99. Last year, I only did one sale in a full 12-month period for $9.99. So I looked at the data. I'm like, people are just not buying this at $1,000 just for whatever reason. You know, I think it's worth it, obviously, but the customer doesn't. And that's who I have to build the business around is what the customer wants, obviously. Um, so what I did last month in September like September 4th, I believe, so a little bit over 30 days ago, I lowered the price to $4.99. And I've already had seven sales since then. So in annualized, that's 84 compared to, you know, one last year and then five the year before that. So you can see how price sensitive the customer is in this case. Quite sensitive. 84 times more sensitive in this case in theory, assuming that this holds trend holds true for the rest of the next 11 months, which I don't know if it will or not, but we're seeing immediate changes. So if you've got an e-commerce brand and you're trying to figure out pricing, you want to spend some time at different price points and doing different testing to see what is going to give you the maximum revenue. Uh, now, if you have overheads and stuff like that, you might have to do some more analysis. But, you know, for me, it's just about price point. Obviously, I'd rather make um, 41000 rather than 1000 or 5000 I don't think the, um, I don't think that the full, a full 12 months of this in ever in history, I've ever done more than I think maybe six or 7000 in a full year. So if I can boost just this up to, you know, that thirty, forty thousand dollar range, um, or even more, who knows? I think we are obviously onto something. Uh now previously I thought that four ninety nine would just it was giving it away, so I just felt like, you know, the value was nine ninety nine, but the customer says no, it's four ninety nine. So this is a pretty good price point. It kind of fits with my other other bundles um as well on the site. Um, where I, I believe it, the, the, um, the pricing feels better. It, everything feels a little bit better. I also lowered some of the 175, uh, templates down to $99, um, that I had at 175 for the past four or five years. So I did a couple pricing adjustments just to see, and, um, yeah, I mean, good results. We're going to keep the price at 499 going forward. I think this was super important. And this is another reason why you want to track data on your own e-commerce businesses and try to make decisions accordingly. To me, it was obvious that, you know, if I'm making one sale in a year, I know there's more demand for this than that. Um, there's more eyeballs on it, and I feel like it should have been making more sales, but the market said, you know, you got to lower the price. And this is the difference between demand of a product and quantity demanded. Quantity demanded changes with price demand doesn't change your demand curve is whatever it is but what changes the amount that's that the customers want is your price you lower the price quantity demand it goes up higher the price quantity demand it goes down within whatever demand curve you have for your product so obviously we're making more revenue here than here and here this is probably in my opinion this is the maximum uh, the, the, the best price to earn the maximum amount of revenue over a given period. So we'll see how this uh, test case goes over time. Um, I'll obviously be tracking it in the next uh, 6 to 12 months. 
But I thought that was an interesting, um, you know, if, if you're a consumer brand online, customers are very price conscious and that can have a huge impact on your revenue for your business. And this is just my own little scenario, but it is worth, um, I thought, explaining. And um, I'm obviously super excited about this result here. This is huge for me and um, the model sales that I do. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll see how this goes. And um, I'll also be uploading more templates. So um, we did yesterday, we did the retail construction real estate model. I just got that one up. And then I'll be working more on the end-to-end -end space model uh, for uh, space companies. That's kind of the new trend that's been going on, and I think it's here to stay. And they have a essentially, you're doing launch services, you're doing um, satellite uh, manufacturing, possibly, or or a satellite uh, space service management, mission management. There's all sorts of different um, economies emerging for space. Uh, space missions, um, services such as, you know, mobile phone service, Starlink, internet service, all that stuff. So I'll be building a full and a space company financial model. Well, I'm already building it. It's probably like halfway done maybe. So I'll be putting that one out next and uh, we'll keep on uh, building financial models. Hopefully you found this test case interesting and like and subscribe let me know if you want me to talk about anything and uh, regarding uh, business finance accounting <clears throat> that's kind of my wheelhouse building assumptions for different businesses uh, to produce financial statements cash flow analysis uh, all sorts of things so i'm going to be trying to do more i i feel like i say this every every so often but i really really want to do more content uh, in videos because I feel like I haven't been doing, you know, it's been, I've been getting overwhelmed with client work, which is a good thing, but it also I want to be able to spend time uh, doing content videos. And I also want to um, not feel overwhelmed. So uh, we'll see uh, how this goes, but we'll expect more content is what I would say. And I'll see if I can deliver. Alrighty. Uh, see you on the next one.